Chirp YouTube channel. I'm here today with stage number four in our communication book protocol. Please, as I have said with all of the other videos, two through three, I guess that's only two, but those two videos, I said, please don't move on and put this video's recommendations into practice until your child is consistent with the previous stage. I still mean that on this video as well. If your child is not consistent with stage three, which is being able to choose accurately what she wants from a field of multiple pictures, if your child is not consistent with that yet, please do not move on to stage four. If your child has been successful choosing accurately what she wants from a field of multiple pictures, then feel free to move on to stage four. And stage four is beginning sentence structure. That is why I have an I want and a please on here. We will only start with the I want at the beginning of this stage. The goal now, instead of taking the picture out and handing it to you, is instead to put the picture on and point to each one. Now you will be the one who starts out. Again, you will be modeling as you have through this whole process. You will be modeling. I want Dora. And then we will go get Dora. As always, at the beginning of this stage, your child is not gonna know what to do. She will keep handing you the picture and it will be your job to take her hand, put the picture on the book, take her little hand and point together. I want Dora. And then we will go get Dora. The beginning of any stage, it does help to have another adult in the picture who can help you work through this process. It helps if the other adult is the one to do the hand over hand helping and you're the one who goes and get the, gets the item. You are the communication partner. But I do this by myself all the time. You can do it by yourself too if there isn't another adult in your home at the moment or at the moment when your child is wanting to request stuff, which is all day long. So this stage, as a reminder, you have a book that is full of different things. It doesn't have to be this full. I have eight items in here, but you could choose to only have five or four. But you do want to make sure that your child is able to distinguish between the different pictures, is able to tell that choosing this one is different from choosing this one, and it makes a difference in the response that she gets. You will want to have some sort of little visual for I want. It can just be your child, I want. It can be you doing a, a want posture and you take a picture of that and you print it out and you laminate it and you put it on a little card and you put Velcro on the back. That can be your I want symbol. If you want to use the board maker version that I have here, you can purchase the online board maker, which I think you subscribe to for a year and then you can print out as many things as you need or you can buy the software version. And I have the software version. It's probably 15 or 20 years old by this point. That's amazing. But the CD still works. I still use it from time to time to create things like this. For the inside pictures, as always, I prefer to use digital cameras to print out. Actually, I like to have them. I should mention this. I or organized them right side up for you just now, but I prefer to have them pointing all different ways because it bugs the kids so much. Most of the kids I work with are on the autism spectrum and they like things organized. They like everything to line up. I found that it's a really helpful exposure therapy strategy to not put all the pictures right way up, to have them all messed up in there. and. Hopefully, the children become more and more accustomed to things not always being in a row. The word is not always at the top. Sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's on the bottom. And all of that is fine. The picture still serves its purpose. Just a little aside for you there. 
as the child gets more and more successful with doing this, you can also try adding a please at the end. I like the please. I realize that when kids are just learning these sentence structure parts, the parts of the sentence, they don't mean very much except for I have to say this in order to get what I want. I think that's fine and it really does get the kids used to those parts of speech that we do just because they're polite. We want to start introducing those things at an early age. I don't have a problem with please even though I think most people leave it off. I think it's kind of nice to have a carrier phrase and something at the beginning, something at the end, and then we put in the middle whatever it is that the child wants. Kind of adds a nice balance. It's like a poem. So I eventually put a please at the end. As the child gets more competent with that, I sometimes, if I'm working with a family, I don't do this in classrooms because they're, it's just too complex to keep accurate photos of everyone, but in families, I often would put another piece of Velcro right here, and in here, I would put a line, and it would have pictures of the different family members or therapists in the child's home, and they would have to also choose who they're asking and they would put that here. So if it was me, it would be Christy. I want marbles, please. But if it was grandma, she would have to take off the grandma and put it back and then get the Christy. Or that's exactly the opposite of what I meant. She would have to get the grandma and put it on and get rid of the Christy. Grandma, I want penguins, please. This is helpful as kids are realizing that they have to get someone's attention, that they are actually communicating with another human being and who they are communicating with is going to help them get what they want. And I might be able to get the penguins, but grandma's the only one who's going to be able to get the applesauce because it's her house, it's not my house. And of course, in many of these families, I could indeed get the applesauce, but it's better if she and I go together to grandma and say, grandma, I want applesauce, please. And then grandma gets the applesauce. There are a few ideas that you can use as your child is progressing in stage four, which is, you got it, I heard you, which is learning to use sentence structure. Once again, start with just the I want. If you feel like it, add a please. If you feel like it even more, add a person and some pictures of people in your child's life. I hope that you are having a fantastic week. Please be healthy as much as you can. Sometimes that's not up to us, but I'm glad that you are here today. Thank you so much for being willing to learn about some of the ways that you can help your child or your grandchild or your niece or nephew, or the kids you work with in a classroom, or your students, or your clients, or kids in the hospital where you work. Thank you for being willing to learn a little bit more about what helps them learn and to bring them into your world a little bit more so they can become blossoming human beings who communicate effectively and have wonderful social interactions. I'm proud of you for doing that. I know it's challenging. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.